Hey guys, Vimal here and welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a great Sunday. See, I keep getting a lot of comments from you people saying, Hey Vimal, can you give us some tips or tricks like how to improve the speed of our PC or, you know, boost the performance of your PC or laptop. See, I can give you like a couple of tips and tricks, but let me tell you, see, software tips or tricks, whatever the, uh, you guys see online, like maybe removing unnecessary applications from your PC or installing some tuning utilities, stuff like that. Now, nah? these are like, temporary solutions guys they don't like give you noticeable performance boost on your pc if you want noticeable results now immediately then you definitely need to change the hardware on your pc and by hardware i'm not telling that you need to change your cpu or gpu heavy investment those sort of stuff i'm telling you that by simply uh, installing an affordable part in your pc you can greatly boost the speed or performance of both your pc or laptop and that thing is storage guys a lot of people usually go and buy hard disks only for their pc bills now that is because see for low price you're getting like large capacities but let me tell you instead of hard disk if you go and buy ssd you'll have like a great improvement in the speed and by ssd i'm not talking about the usual sata ssd i'm talking about the nvme m.2 ssds guys these nvme m.2 drives can be like super fast compared to your regular hard disk or even the sata ssd so today in this video what i'll tell you is i'll be uh, showing you how nvme ssds can be installed on your pc or laptop and how do they greatly boost your performance and to show you this i bought an entry level m.2 nvme ssd from kingston the a2000 series and today in this video i'll unbox it and give you like my complete review on this ssd so let's get started all right here's our brand new entry level ssd from kingston it's an m.2 nvme ssd and comes in this sort of box packaging the model is called A2000 and as you can see, it says that this M.2 SSD is almost 35 times faster than a regular 7200 RPM hard disk. It's available in different capacities starting from 256 gigs to almost 1 TB. The one we have right now is a 500 GB variant. And here's how the drive looks like. You can actually see it through the box packaging. Let me just cut it open, take the SSD out and show you the drive. Here we go comes packed like this and this is how it looks like. Kingston's A2000 is an entry level NVMe Gen 3 SSD and has a single sided M.2 2280 form factor. It's got a blue color PCB instead of the premium black and uses Micron's 96L TLC memory. See NVMe SSDs are super compact, thin and lightweight and offer excellent transfer speeds compared to your regular hard disk or even the SATA SSDs. The brand says that A2000 offers a sequential read speed of up to 2200 mbps and sequential write speeds of around 2000 mbps so what i'll do is i'll quickly show you how to install this drive on your pc's motherboard and get things started see installing m.2 nvme ssds is very simple guys just watch this video and you'll understand the first thing you'll have to check before buying an nvme drive is whether your motherboard is compatible with the drive or not check whether your mobo model supports nvme ssds with the new m type key M key is a single notch seen on the newer NVMe SSDs using the PCI X4 bus. Once you confirm that, you're good to go. Now where to install the drive? See the position of M.2 drive slots on the motherboard completely depend on the brand and the model. Most of them are found either between the CPU and the GPU or on the lower section of the motherboard. Also keep in mind some M.2 slots come with special heatsink plates to keep the drive running cool. Just have a look over here. On my motherboard, this is where we'll be installing the drive. Unscrew this and take the heatsink off to expose the M.2 slot. As you can see, it comes with a pre-applied layer of thermal pad on the bottom side and you'll need to remove this blue sticker while fitting it back. Take the NVMe drive and install it in this M.2 slot at a 30 degree angle. And once you fix it properly, it should stay in that position just like this. Now gently push the drive downwards and refit the heatsink back on top of the drive. Do not forget to remove the blue sticker from the heatsink thermal pad. All you need to do is just tighten up the screws and we'll be done with the installation. Now when you boot up the PC after installing it, the drive won't be seen yet because the storage is not allocated on the drive. Just open disk management, allocate the newly installed drive and format to start using it. Alright, now let me tell you about the performance and the benchmarks. So I've been using this drive for the past couple of days mainly for my gaming and 4K video editing and out of the box you get around 465 GB of usable space. Let's run Crystal Diskmark benchmark and check out the maximum sequential read and write speeds on the drive. 
The brand says that this particular SSD offers up to 2200 MB per second of sequential read speeds and write speeds of up to 2000 Mbps. Well, we're gonna put that to a test in this video. There you go, the results are up. We got a max sequential read speeds of up to 2250 Mbps and a max sequential write speeds of up to 1995 Mbps. Whoa, not bad guys. Those are actually some good speeds considering that it's an entry level NVMe drive. It's almost three to four times faster than your regular SATA SSD. So as I told you just now, I've been using it for the past few days, right? So I can definitely tell you it's a good and reliable NVMe drive, especially for the price that you're paying. It offers very fast loading and boot up times that are immediately noticeable as soon as you boot up your PC. And I was quite satisfied with the performance. Keeping the benchmarks aside, let me show you what kind of transfer speeds it offers in the real world usage. And for this test, I'll be copying a huge games folder from one of my drives on my PC to this Kingston's NVMe SSD and then show you the practical results. So let's copy this huge folder that's around 68 GB in size. Oh wow, are you guys looking at that? It was copying the files onto the drive at an average speed of around 450 MB per second. That is very good considering the price point. At this rate, you'll be able to copy massive files like 65 to 70 GB at only around two and a half minutes. Now that is what I call fast. So this is how you can easily boost your PC's performance just by simply switching from a regular hard disk or a SATA SSD to an NVMe M.2 SSD. The overall PC's performance is improved, Windows boot up time is greatly reduced and even the game load time happens very quickly. If it's your first time using NVMe drives, you'll be surprised how awesome these are compared to your regular storage. That was my easy solution to boost up your PC. Kingston's A2000 is a pretty good entry-level NVMe drive that can be used for both laptops as well as PCs. The 256GB variant costs around 3450 rupees in India. I'll just leave a link to that in the description box below. You can check it out there. So that's it. I hope you all found the video very useful. Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more new awesome videos. And I'll see you all in my next one.